And let's go uh, southwest. The Tibet Autonomous Region is one of the area China that deal with poverty. Farmers and herders there account for more than 80 percent of the population, and nearly 600,000 of them live under the poverty line. Well, the local government has undertaken several measures to help them out. Well, these include policies to help herders raise their yaks and fund business expansions over there. Our own reporter Meng Qingsheng has from Tenggu Township of Linzhou County. On the sparsely populated Tibetan plateau, signs of a modern civilization. But it's still the traditional that supplies the main source of the herders' income, butter made from yak's milk. Jesse Tsuren is happy with the output. I had nine milk producing yaks last year, about 20 kilograms of butter, totally about 4,600 yuan. This year I have three more yaks producing milk and have already sold 13 kilograms of butter in the first quarter. Production is increasing. The increase comes as a result of a poverty reduction program. It provides low income families with the female yaks for free. The yaks then multiply and bring more benefits. Thanks to the program, I received two pregnant female yaks in 2010. They gave birth to two calves. Since then, the number of my yaks has multiplied. This has improved my livelihood. The altitude here at Tanggu is about 4,500 meters above sea level. It's a unique landscape suitable for yak herding. In the past five years, the local government has been providing financial support to help locals raise more yaks. Herders in Tibet can get soft loans to buy more yaks and build up stables for the animals to spend the winter. They also get funding for their efforts to prevent degradation of grassland. Jassi Tsuren, like most herders at Tanggu, leads a semi-nomadic life. He built this house five years ago. The eight-member family underwent hardships decades ago. In the eyes of the mother, the improvements of life are obvious. We had a big family, and there weren't enough laborers to help out. Now my kids have already grown government policies. My life is now gradually improving. Yaks are well adapted to high altitudes. So they are susceptible to epidemics. The local government office sends a veterinarian to help prevent and treat disease. I have more than 30 yaks now. I hope with more favorable policies in place, along with the help of the veterinarian, the number of yaks will double in the near future. Herding in the high altitudes is not without its excitement. Jesse Tsuren invites his neighbors to join the party. It's a farewell to hardships and a celebration of fulfilled hopes. Meng Qingsheng, CCTV, Tibet Autonomous Region.